Today's question is around shipping costs and moving your furniture to Australia. So here's the question. We're moving to Australia, um, have been given two quotes for our shipping. One company is $1,000 more expensive than the other. One will include the customs, agriculture and fisheries fees, and the other does not include the port fees. What would you recommend? So that's the question that I've been posed um, with. A couple of things to consider here. First of all, when you're comparing removalists quotes, are you comparing an accredited removalist to another removalist that perhaps is not credited? So an accreditation is, um, it could be FIDI or it could be BAR. BAR is the British um, Aust British removalists british association of removalists um fiddy is a very popular one that's the french one you've also got the australian removalists an accredited removalist means that they are um checked they are actually audited every two to three years depending on their accreditation they are they are audited on are their packers properly trained health and safety measures are their vehicles um, roadworthy, customer service reviews, all those sorts of things. They, the, the accredited removalists are actually um, audited on those things. If you've got an accredited removalist and you do have a problem, you can actually go to the association and file a complaint. It gives you another level of um, correspondence, if you like, if you have any problems. An accredited removalist is always going to be slightly more expensive than a removalist that is not accredited and purely then you have that peace of mind so that is one thing to consider when re when comparing quotes um removalists should be if you've got a good removalist they should be quoting you door to door which would include any of the imports duties or anything else that you might have, port fees, anything that could come up that should be included. There is one exception, and that is if customs decide to do an intensive search. Now, no removalist actually includes this in their costings because it doesn't always happen. Things that could cause customs to do an intensive search would be um, Anything that you might put on your inventory that would spark their attention that they need to investigate a little bit further. So that could be Christmas decorations. Um, Christmas decorations often have pine cones and little bugs and things could get stuck in the pine cones. So I'm not saying don't declare them. You must declare them. But what you could do is on the inventory if there's space is just say no pine cones or no natural sticks or whatever it might be. So um, sports equipment, farm equipment, tools, all those things could trigger an intensive search. It could also just be a random search. Customs will do that in that every maybe 10 containers, they'll do a more intensive search. So it doesn't have to be that they are alerted to something. It can just be that it happens. Um, and that is never included in general removalist quotes because it's fairly random um, and it costs a fair amount of money. So I hope that helps answer that question a little bit more. If you have a question for me, please feel free to email me your questions. Um, put on the subject title, Ask Robin, and I will answer it with a video message. Thanks for your time.